We are now into the Christmas season, so that means the grocery hauls are just gonna gradually get bigger and bigger. I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, if you are new, thank you so much for clicking on today's weekly grocery haul. We went to Sam's Club, Aldi, and Walmart. Three stores this week. The prices are crazy. Y'all already know. Let me take you down to the counter and show you what we picked up. First stop, we went to Sam's Club. I went in store, $116. And it keeps telling me that my membership always renews around Christmas. It's like December 19th. And it asks you like a month ahead of time. I'm like, no, I want to get this whole month for my, my money's worth. Can y'all relate out there? I'm like, why are you asking me a month early? Like that's shaving a month off of my plan. Like, come on, I don't even know. I got some bread. I've been on the bread kick. If you've been watching my videos, my vlogs, if you've been following me on Instagram, I post my food over there and I have just been on a bread kick. Like I am eating a ton of bread. <laughs> if you've been around, that's, that's crazy from my old keto days, right? But I'm loving it. It's just a great carb source to eat. It's it's not complex and it's delicious, right? So I got this French bread two pack. It was only $3.98 for these two huge loaves. And of course the boys are eating it as well. It's 140 calories for 54 grams. When you weigh this up, guys, it's substantial. I'm here for it. And five grams of protein might add. Bread has protein in it a little bit. It's not like your protein source, but you know what I'm saying. Speaking of protein, this is the reason why I went into Sam's is because it will not have me do the pickup with these fair life shakes it says they're out of stock out of stock he actually went in sam's club the other couple weeks before the thanksgiving um they were doing like a thanksgiving party thing at work and he brought some pre-made stuff i digress but i said hey while you're in there see if they have the fair life shakes they did but they never have them available for the pickup i think it's a he's like it's a cue for you to go in stores you can spend more money i'm like yeah sam's they be smart, right? But there's a limit of five at my store and Trey and I drink one of these per day and the hubs will drink them as well. So I went ahead and got three of them so I don't have to go in store since it never lets me do the pickup, you know what I'm saying? And they only have chocolate at mine. So I know a lot of y'all are like, I hope they come back, y'all are waiting. They just came back to mine the past couple months, but just be aware that it won't let you do the pickup for some reason. Y'all let me know if that's happening to you in the comment section if you're able to get them on the pickup or not. Like, I don't know why my club does that. I, I know, I just mentioned why. But I got three of them. And then I got some of the Grand Southern Biscuits. I need to get these in the freezer. You get 38 in there for the price I'm popping up. Air fryer ready. I usually just put them in the oven and the boys love this. I make a ton of them and I just reheat them throughout the week. This is a good breakfast for dinner option for them. But every single weekend <laughs> they're screaming, we want a biscuits biscuit breakfast. They love it. So I went ahead and got some more of those. I have a couple. And then y'all know I love getting this Betty Crocker Hershey's triple chocolate fudge brownie mix. It's fire for like all the different concoction recipes I like to do throughout the holiday seasons. You get a four pack in here and they marked it on an instant savings. I like to buy it when it's on instant savings versus full price and it lasts us for a while. So I saw it was on instant savings. I threw it in cart. And then a couple of like, not really impulse buys, it was things I was looking for except for the socks. But I went into Walmart first before I went into Sam's Club and they had the cutest elf sweatshirt, but they did not have Trey size. And I'm, I was looking for like a, a cute Christmas ugly sweater for Trey. And they had this one was even better and about the same price. I was like, dang, I'm so glad I held off. Look how cute with all the syrup and raised by elves of the raccoon. That's my favorite part where he jumps on Will Ferrell in the beginning. I laugh my booty off every time never gets old cottonhead and ninny, ninny muggins world's best cup of coffee i mean how cute is this but if i can find it let's see it makes noises oh my god okay <laughs> that's all it does how cute is that I don't know about the washing situation with that, but I had to get that for him. That's going to be so cute for my sister's Christmas party. And the Hubs loves these soft flannel shirts. And if you're not going to like Academy or whatever, they don't have that many of them at Walmart. I got them one at Walmart, but I saw these, the Eddie Bauer brand, and it was cheap. It was like $13 for this. And I liked this pattern. It's, it's almost identical to the one he's worn out. So I was like, you know what? 
Let's get the same kind of color pattern because I know he freaking likes it. He's weird with clothes. That's why y'all don't see me buy the hubs clothes a lot because he's really weird. But he needs clothes because he will wear them for like 10 years and they're like raggedy holes. He will not buy himself stuff unless I make him. And then I got myself. I don't have any problem buying myself anything. Who can relate out there? These Brookstone Cable Knit Cozy Slipper Socks with Grippers. Yes, yes, yes. They had three colors. I love any of the socks that have the like skin skin marks <laughs> the skin mark grippers on the bottom i love it and i love the fact that they're like high and they have like this sherpa uh, i love them my feet get cold all the time and I, I have slippers and i wear them all the time but i hate wearing slippers i don't like wearing slippers i like wearing cozy socks and i don't have like big ones like this in the cart and that is what we got my friends for 116 dollars at sam's i know but the shakes hopefully will last us a little bit and the biscuits and the bread probably won't. Aldi should be next. Next stop is Aldi. We spent $52.58, 50 bucks, dang. And it was a disappointing trip, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. They did not have the majority of what I was looking for in there, so it is what it is. But these things were cheaper than at Walmart, but honestly, it wouldn't have been that much different to just get everything at Walmart at this point. I mean, it's crazy. I got some of the deli rolls. We're going to be making some turkey subs, a video I made like eight years ago. One of our favorites, we used to make it all the time before my YouTube land journey. And I'm like, God, I miss those. And we're going to make them and they're delicious and they're macro friendly. And the buns are 180 calories. We're going to toast these up, put some cheese on them. It's going to be delicious. I also got their sourdough. I was looking at it last time I went. I didn't need any at the time. Now I need some. It says that two pieces is 120 calories. I don't think that's right. I'm going to weigh it out. I'll let you guys know. But I'm assuming just one piece is 120 calories which is comparable to all the other ones and it looks delicious and it was cheaper at Aldi they had it on like a rollback whatever they call it than Walmart I know crazy then the Walmart brand it, Walmart's prices have gotten outrageous I will tell you but they get you because they only have certain things that other stores don't have almond milk got that for my protein coffee I got Trey some more of the vanilla like yogurt he likes that for lunches and then I really enjoyed this one last week I made a bunch of yogurt bowls with some bagels on the side it was delicious this friendly farms vanilla two grams of sugar Greek low-fat yogurt some of y'all were saying that I said it was comparable to Oikos and y'all said it was comparable to Too Good. As far as the calories is what I was talking about, it's pretty comparable to your Oikos triple zero because it's 90 calories a serving and 14 grams of protein. That's pretty comparable to the Oikos. As far as taste, yes, I do think it tastes kind of like the Too Good yogurt, which I'm not mad about. I do think I like the Oikos a little bit better, but to save a little bit of pennies, I, I'll sacrifice it. I got Trey three of the multicolor peppers. I like to slice those up for his lunch boxes and he loves those and then the raspberries were so good last week trey loved them and they were so cheap they weren't as cheap as last week but still not terrible so i got two of those for him since he loved them so much and then i got a bunch of cheeses i'll talk about those in a second i got the reduced fat mexican style for a, a taco tuesday again i'm doing three recipes that are og favorites i told you guys in last week's grocery haul and i'm macro friendly in them up a little bit not even much and i cannot wait one is bacon ranch chicken tacos we're having oh yes and this is only 90 calories and seven grams of protein if you're wondering and that's Waylon's favorite cheese if you are new and then i got some classic caesar croutons they were cheaper than walmart and we're going to be having just a simple side salad along one of our meals and i wanted like a good caesar side salad i've been missing a little salad in my life 30 calories for a serving and then i needed some tomato paste for a slow cooker chicken parmesan i think we're doing that's an og recipe tomato paste six ounces got some more of the mama cozy's turkey pepperoni i always have to have this in stock because trey and i love it been making those cottage cheese bowls y'all are now on the wagon with it i told you guys don't knock it till you try it and he loves to take this for homemade pizzas lunchables and all kinds of stuff the cheeses um we ran out of cheese like all of a sudden i'm like what happened usually i have like an abundance of this and then i have none got some of the colby jack cheese it's 70 calories a serving i love that for like little sammies myself it's one of my favorites mozzarella cheese i think is for the sub roll sandwiches i was telling you guys about and provolone cheese 
That might be for the subs. This is probably for the chicken parm. But anyways, we got sliced cheese wasted. And then the last thing I got, this was something I wanted to get for our Saturday night untracked meal. I've been craving a good steak and these looked really good. Y'all let me know if you've tried these and you like them. They are the Morton's of Omaha ready to cook garlic rubbed petite tender beef fillets. They look delicious. So they were $6.99 a pound. This one was like $12. I didn't think that was bad. It's cut up into two pieces. And honestly, this might even be two meals for me and the hubs because we're gonna have like a baked potato or whatever on the side. For it, four ounces, it's 170 calories and 21 whopping grams of protein here for it, but it's already marinated. I'll just put it on the Blackstone. I might even cut them up into little pieces. I don't know, but y'all let me know if you've tried that because that looked interesting and I needed a steak option and I didn't want to do the pickup with Walmart and like get a randomness, you know what I'm saying? Because I like to pick out my steaks if I'm going to have a steak. So that was everything we got at Aldi for what? A little over $50? Yikes. Walmart grocery pickup is not gonna be any better, and it's next. I totally skipped over these things after the fact. Um, something fun and seasonal, and girl, you skipping over it. The hot cocoa ice cream. These were a buck ninety nine. They also had a mint version, chocolate ice cream with whipped cream swirl and milk chocolate flakes. That sounds delicious. Definitely not a waistline friendly, but I mean to have a little treat. I haven't hauled ice cream for the boys in a long time. And then the cottage cheese again was cheaper to get it at Aldi than at Walmart, and they had one. One lonely one on the shelf. Walmart so grocery right. pickup, $121.40. If it is loud, I don't know why Saint is being so loud, but he is like, he's always loud. Always sounds like a pig. I have a Frenchie, but he is like extra loud today. I don't know what's going on. Maybe got allergies or something. Come on. We got some salad mix and look, I, that's why I usually don't get this chopped romaine mix. I love it, but I like to pick it out myself in the pickup and it's like already nasty looking. It doesn't say it's gonna go bad for like a week, but y'all know how it is. And this ish is expensive. However, I have some romaine in the, in the fridge right now, so I can probably like doctor it up, but the money that you pay for this stuff, I mean, crazy, I might do a refund, I don't know. I got another lazy route I went was the shredded iceberg lettuce. I usually get the head and do it myself, but that doesn't look bad. That's for Taco Tuesday. Uh, Saint, Saint, come on, you're being extra. We got some Quaker chocolate rice cakes. These are for my pre-workout, you guys know. And then these are new. I have not tried these before. I'm trying to eat like, and when I say real tortillas and bread, I mean not like your hashtag diet or like low carb ones. They just have not been agreeing with me. I've mentioned that a million times, hence why you haven't seen them in a while. And we have tacos on plan. And instead of doing the banderita ones I used by all the time, I'm going this route. Now, they're small, I will tell you. They're the teeny tiny street tacos by Mission. And for two of them, it's 150 calories. But we're, we're gonna make it work and it's not gonna upset our stomach, so I'm here for it. I got Trey some of the Great Value Cinnamon Raisin Bagels. I like the Great Value ones way better than the Aldi ones. They have way more like chunkage of raisins in them and cinnamon flavor. The Aldi ones I do not care for and they're about the same price, so it's no big deal. We got bananas for our pre-workout and I have these on plan, I think, for like post-workout. So I needed a lot of bananas this week. I'm gonna be doing like, not just the side salads for a dinner, but we're gonna do, I think, just a little side salad maybe for our Saturday night off plan thing. We're doing the steaks I showed y'all. So I got a Roma tomato for one of our regular nights and for that Saturday night. A cucumber for me, I haven't had cucumbers in a while and I've been craving them. I love that Olive Garden light dressing, it's so good and I dip it in there and it is perfection. Got some green onions to go on our baked potatoes for Saturday night, which speaking of, y'all, these potatoes are massive. And the hubby and I, what we like to do is I'll bake one and I'll cut it in half and we'll split one. So this is actually for like two nights instead of one and they were cheap, so it's fine. Chocolate milk every week for the boys is a must. Y'all know I get these for Trey every single week for his lunch boxes as well. It's the light and fit protein little smoothies. They're 80 calories, 10 grams of protein. Great for you as well if you're trying to hit a protein goal and you're in a calorie deficit. Same thing with the two good smoothies. They're 70 calories and 10 grams of protein. They're just a little bit more expensive. So that's why you don't see me um, get those mainly for him. I was able to score on the toasted marshmallow Greek yogurt cups. So happy, like on the little things in life. I can never get these, you guys know, but the past couple weeks I've been stocking up and I am making my hot chocolate overnight oats next week. I haven't made those in like a year. I'm excited. They're one of my favorites. I have that in a overnight oats playlist for you guys. I have that in a meal prep playlist. 
video details with all the things. It's delicious, but I'm going to use this in that recipe and just for snacking. Love them. Y'all know I don't haul the like light, I can't believe it's not butter, country crock, whatever, often. This lasts us for like, we probably get maybe one or two of these a year for recipes and whatnot. So I'm almost out. So I went ahead and got another one of those. And then I haven't hauled this in probably, I don't know, seven, eight years. <laughs> the chive and onion cream cheese spread. This is for, like I mentioned, I'm bringing back some OG recipes, the beginning of my channel and I'm making them a little bit more macro friendly. Some of them I'm keeping them exactly the same, just tracking them. They're high protein and decent calories as is. So there you go. But this is for um, the bacon ranch chicken that we're gonna be using for the tacos. I put a little bit of this in there and it's not terrible guys. It's 80 calories for two tablespoons. I know a lot of you guys like this one. Y'all told me before. And then for another recipe, instead of doing like light cream cheese, it's not much difference, but if I can get it, I like to get this Greek cream cheese one. It tastes exactly the same as the light one. A little bit more expensive, but you get a little extra protein. So we try to get it in where we can. Speaking of protein, y'all saw me haul these, what, a couple months ago. I love a chicken wing. I am a chicken wing girly. Y'all put a chicken wing emoji in the comment section down below if you're a chicken wing girly or guy. The hubs, he could like go without. And I'm like, are you crazy? Are you even living life? I have to have chicken wings and I have them on our Saturday night off plan meal because he won't like, you know, we can't go to a restaurant and mainly go for wings. You know what I'm saying? And I, I like to make them at home anyway. They just taste better. And I like these great value ones, this chicken party wings, flats and drumettes. You get four pounds in here. It's a good price and they're like good size. Sometimes you get these from other stores and they're like, they scrawny, okay? I like a little meat on my bones. I like it. And I like these. I also like these Tyson air fried crispy breast fillets. Um, Y'all know Waylon likes the chicken nuggets way back when. I used to get those all the time. And the chicken strips are good too. And I'm making a crock pot or slow cooker chicken parm. And again, that's an OG. It's already on my channel. But we're going to lighten it up a little bit with these versus regular chicken breast fillets. Okay. So little swaps guys, and you can still have the things that you love and it tastes exactly the same. So somebody on Instagram was raving about this market side spinach and artichoke dip saying that it was the best thing ever. Love putting it on chicken. And I was like, Ooh, that sounds fire. And I need like a filler for Sunday nights instead of doing breakfast for dinner. I have like some sides and stuff on hand. I was like, this would be a good, like one night dinner. You know what I mean? So I have some of those like already made chicken breasts from Sam's club. I thought I could put some of the spinach and artichoke dip on it and like heat it up and it would be delicious. Made with cream cheese, spinach, artichoke hearts, parm, mozzarella, and Asiago cheeses. And the calories on it, if you're wondering, are 80 calories for two tablespoons and two grams of protein. So not terrible either. And we might have that for our movie nights too, but I thought that was good. It looked delicious when they were raving about it. So I got to try it. Y'all let me know if you tried that one and you like it. This has been out of stock for a couple of weeks. The great value thin sliced roast beef. I like to have this on hand for hub sandwiches for work, but also I like to make my little charcuterie boards here at home, like for lunch, 60 calories guys and 10 grams of protein. I mean, don't sleep on the deli meat as far as trying to get your protein in for the low calorie. I did get a great value cooked bacon. This is not for the boys. This is for that um, chicken recipe for taco Tuesday. You put a whole package of this in the recipe. So instead of using the bacon from Sam's Club, I got this one instead. And then I also got some of the 97% lean turkey. That is for the turkey subs I was telling y'all. Another OG one coming back. I'm so excited for this week and these recipes. I haven't had them in years, so I'm excited. Mango chunks. I got the three pound bag was cheaper at Sam's Zen at Aldi. I priced it out and I've been loving it. Y'all been asking if the fruit gets mushy. Like the mango ch chunks, no. They just taste like regular mango to me. Like if I were to cut them fresh. But I know that the berries do a little bit, but by the time Trey eats them for breakfast, they're still not fully thawed. They're like halfway frozen, halfway thawed, and he loves the texture with his sensory. So I'm here for it, and it's much cheaper. So I got the berry medley for him, which comes with blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. He loved that last week. So re-upping on the frozen fruit. I don't have any corn on the cob on hand, and we like the green giant ones specifically. The great value ones are a little bit higher calorie, but it doesn't even have to do anything with the calories for me personally. I think these just taste better, and they're extra sweet, well, whatever, but they're 50 calories a cob, so that is pretty good macro-wise. And then for tomorrow for our off-plan meal, we're going to watch some type of Christmas movie. I'm not doing a big to-do Christmas 
movie night tomorrow. We're going to do that for the next week. So I'm not making like an official big recipe meal for everybody. We're going to do steaks and potatoes, me and the hubs. The kids are going to do pizza. So I got the rising crust pepperoni pizza. This is the new packaging we've talked about. They did raise it from like $3.98. I think this is like almost $4.50 now for the packaging. Like, come on, come on, Sam, come, Sam's Club. Walmart, whatever. Always trying to freaking take our money, I swear. I got the market side five cheese breadsticks. I, from what I remember, I think Waylon liked these. He doesn't like the Aldi ones. So I got this to go with their pizza. And then for the recipes I was mentioning earlier, I think this is for the turkey subs. In that video, I mentioned I like this Hunt's garlic and herb, and the macros on this are fire too. 35 calories for half a cup. I mean, let's go. And then I got the Italian style petite diced tomatoes. That's for the slow cooker chicken parm. And then Waylon and Trey have been loving popcorn at night. So instead of having like a sweet, they've been loving the salty, which I'm here for. It's 100 calories for these little bags, and I have one left. The Pop Secret is cheaper than the Orville Redenbacher, and in my opinion, I like the way this one tastes better. So it is a win-win, and the boys love it. They don't know that it's 100 calorie snack size bags. They don't know any of that. They just know that they're eating popcorn and they love it. So it's a mom win for me, and I ain't mentioning nothing to them. And then I got some mini marshmallows for the hot chocolate overnight oats. I don't think I have any of those on hand. And then one lonely bag of Quest protein chips. I have three bags on hand from my got way back when from Target. I'm having this on the side of some cottage cheese egg salad. You know, our girl Tanya on Water Talk, she makes all those cottage cheese concoctions and she made like a an egg salad concoction with cottage cheese and it looked delicious and easy and she used like I think carrot chips maybe, but I'm going to dip mine with some protein chips. She mentioned that as well. So I got an extra bag because I was one bag short is what I'm trying to say. So that is everything we got at Walmart for the pickup. Not terrible for all the things we got. I'm, I'm not mad about the price, to be honest. That's do it for this weekly grocery haul. If you enjoy these videos every single Wednesday, do not forget to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for the ones that always do. But if you love these videos, please hit the button. It helps me so much and it takes a second. I appreciate it so much. If you're new, of course, I'd love to have you. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. Make sure the bell is clicked so every Wednesday you're notified when these new grocery hauls go live. Next week, y'all, we're going to have another big win. I already feel it. We are doing our first themed movie night, which is going to be an elf exclusive movie night. So I've got some fun things I'm going to be buying for that. I'm excited for some recipes and all. So stay tuned and we'll see you in next week's grocery haul. Bye, y'all.